Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in a building, baby. We going to the top. I'm going to bring others with us. So let's get into it. Let's talk about Brandy and Monica. OMG, a vintage feud from back in the day in Dallas. Austin is telling the story. He's on Vlad TV running his mouth. I'm like, OMG, it's going down. So you guys all know that song, The Boy Is Mine. That was the hit. That video was epic. The song was epic. It actually won a Grammy Award winning song. You know what I'm saying? That song was on point. He was like, you got to see Brandy and Monica together. And we both like Brandy. We both like Monica. So, and then having them together doing a song, The Boy Is Mine's OMG. That was a banger in the summer. That was a banger. I seen a lot of fights go down behind that song talking about The Boy Is Mine. Call you up on the phone on three-way. The Boy Is Mine's girl. <laughs> So it went down like that was like OMG. So Dallas Austin is saying that, you know, Brandy and Monica had to actually do the video separately. You know, Monica did her half. Brandy did her half. You know, they produced the video and all the production was done separately. Like they wasn't cool. They wasn't getting along. I was like, damn, that was only like 16 and 17 years old. And they had beef like that. They didn't like each other. What could have transpired? What could have happened? Dallas Austin thinks that he felt like Monica felt like Brandy thought that she was better than her and she gave her one of them little looks and smirks and gave her a little you know wave in the air like okay girl and very dismissive and so monica never forgot that allegedly and it went down so they're getting ready to do the vmas or whatever the case may be and they're about to get ready to go on stage but before they can even go on stage monica had that one piece for brandy and i guess that was the end of that situation and i was like mm, mm, mm. but right after they had their fight let me tell you they are professionals because they went on stage and they did the damn song and they performed the song we all saw the tension they're supposed to be at war so it was all good it's like it was great acting and we all know now that brandy is a great actor so it was all good after she got decked in the face she got on stage and she sung her ass off and so did monica sing her ass off too as well and you know dallas austin was saying that you know monica was kind of ghetto she was like from the hood she only liked men with gold teeth whatever like she was a kid like gold teeth at the time probably for her was a thing like at the time for me i like dreads if you had dreads you know you was number one in my book dreads was the thing but you know monica like gold teeth or whatever the case may be so but they end up doing the song and end up going well you know end up getting a grammy award but they still don't get along sometimes it seems like they still don't get along because brandy was basically taking shots not too long ago at none other <laughs> than monica with this when brandy went performed last year you know last summer she was performing and she did the song the boy is mine and she said at the end the song is mine baby and then you know monica respond was like you know what i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna be childish i'm not gonna be this i'm not gonna be that i'm just gonna be the better person that i can be and that's it and basically she's trying to brush off what brandy did because people brought it to monica that hey brandy said that the song is hers whose song is it is it their song <laughs> whose song is it like what's going on like what's really happening with this situation but monica um handled the situation with elegance and brandy was just like yo you punched me in the face back in 1998 you know what the song is mine i was like yo what's really going on but if you listen to monique slaughter she'll tell you that brandy's not a good person that brandy be on that them thing things or whatever the case may be but that's neither here or there. If you listen to Princess, Princess to tell you that Brandy's two-faced. If you listen to Princess, Princess Love, which is Ray J's wife, you know, I uh, love and hip-hop Hollywood. So it is what it is. But Clive Davis really wanted Monica and Brandy to do this song together. And they had to do the song together. And basically... Dallas Austin made sure that it happened. You know, he did what he had to do to make sure Monica would get in the ring with Brandy. And Brandy people made sure that she did what she had to do to get in the ring with Monica. And so it seemed like the feud had ended because in 2012, you know, they did a song together. It all belongs to me in 2012, which looked like everything was good between them. Like everything was okay. It's just like crazy because if you think about Monica and you think about Brandy from back in the 98, imagine they did more duels together, more songs together. And 
and basically became a force to be reckoned with that would have been crazy they probably would have got even more and more grammys too as well and they would probably be on the level as beyonce now but you know things happen you know brandy went through a lot of stuff you know she had a fake marriage and she was in a bad relationship she got into a car accident where she got a body on her now monica was dating one guy had kids with him and he was no good now she married a man named shannon and they're getting the divorce but they're still living in the same house so they've been through some things they've been through some things over the years so it seems like they will be able to you know get past all this because what is the beef really about is it jealousy is it insecure people tried to say that you know the beef some of the beef is about you know declaring who whitney houston liked the most or who whitney houston was close to the most was she close to brandy the most was she close to monica the most and people was like no whitney houston liked brandy more than people was like no wendy houston liked monica more and then that started a little term oil too as well but it had ended it settled down so what do you guys think about the situation the the boy is mine. They beef before they went on stage. You know, let me tell you, that's elegance. That's professional where you can fight and get back on stage and do the damn thing. You go, girls. Do your thing. I wish they can do another song together. I don't know if they're actually going to do another song together. I don't think at this point they both need each other. But I think it would be epic if they do another song together. And actually get somebody else in the mix, too, as well. Get a third party in the mix. Because, you know, Monica said something that was really important. She said, you know, the feud between her and Brandy ain't that big because her brand Andy and, um, Aaliyah was one of the like the top class back then and for them to have beef doesn't even seem like it should be relevant it shouldn't even make no sense or whatever the case may be so we'll see what happens with this situation we'll see if Monica or Brandy responds to this but I was like hey yes they are very elegant singers i mean like you know brandy's different from monica monica's different from brandy i love both of their music i like both of their personalities you know i love listening to their music i haven't listened to it recently but i know they both can sing i know they both got talent and talent is number one a lot of people today don't have talent can't sing don't got style don't got class don't got the looks don't got the vocals and both monica and brandy can write too as well and sing and perform and act and do the whole nine yards and they've been in the business for long time baby so you guys tell me what you think about the situation the one two three did brandy get a chance to swing did brandy get hit and, and started running or did security jump in what happened what went down baby we need more to the story peace i'm out much love to all my peeps and my peoples